now that we have reached so far let us talk about uh, another type of visualization which is going to be a gauge chart let me insert that first but before that let me just copy this and uh, put it over here so that i'll be able to align it properly there i go and let me just drag it here and let me insert the gauge chart now i'll be talking about few key figures that is what i personally like putting at the very top of the page because that must be clearly visible to the consumer right and here i'm going to show revenue versus target that is why we generally use a gauge chart let me just put it into the focus view so that you'll be able to see this clearly and uh, let me put revenue here okay so revenue in the value and uh, so by default what happens is that it gives you the the value and it makes automatically the gauge double of the value that you are putting that's by default right and i need to compare it with something which is going to be the target revenue so if you see over here uh, we have the previous <coughs> sorry we have <coughs> the previous month revenue right uh, now is the time to create target revenue also now how to create one if you see uh, let me just create a new measure over here and let us suppose the target revenue is 2% jump in the previous month revenue that simple so what i'm going to say target revenue is equals to previous month sorry previous month revenue multiply by 1.02 which is 2% jump in the previous month revenue so that's how i've created target revenue which is previous month revenue by a multiplication which is 1.02 which is 2% jump in the previous month revenue and let me just drag and drop it into the target value and now you'll notice that i am getting that target and actually we have over achieved that's good right and this is how it's going to look like let me just go back and i'll simply keep it over here let me get rid of the formula bar from here and uh, let me just format it i know it's quite small i'll simply select the other visual uh, and i'll just click on the format painter and i'm going to apply it onto this visual and a couple of things i'll be doing i'll just move it slightly so that i can increase the size there we go i'll increase the size of this company logo and this break also and also i don't want to keep the revenue and target revenue that's a very lengthy name of this visual so better i'll go over here and say title and over here i would say revenue versus target that's it i'll just keep it like this so that i can have a good space with me i think that's enough to have the size and then let me just copy this break and put it over here in front of this gauge chart because i want to put something here also there we go and let me just put a break here right so that i can put one more gauge chart for this i will be doing one thing i'll simply select this one create a copy control c control v i'm going to paste it over here what i'm really looking for is i need to squeeze this slightly so that evenly it should come let me just drag this here over here yeah okay so i have it and this time i'm going to create it for order versus target order so similarly we have the orders with us but we have to calculate the target orders so first of all let me just go over here and put in the order quantity uh, total order quantity and uh, let me just drag and drop it into this visual in the place of value and then we need to calculate the target order quantity 
so uh, for this we will be creating a calculation i'll just create a measure over here and we'll say so we don't have the previous month orders right so first we have to calculate the previous month order because it's again going to be 2% jump in the previous month orders order quantity so first i'll say previous month order quantity which is going to be calculate remember and uh, in calculate it will be order quantity over here it will be the total order quantity comma and uh, now it's going to be the uh, date add function now date comma minus 1 because i'm talking about previous month comma month which is going to be my interval i'll simply close down the bracket twice and this way i'll be calculating the previous month order quantity but still we have to calculate the target order quantity which is two percent jump in the previous month order quantity so now i will be creating one more calculation here which is target order quantity right it's going to be previous month order quantity multiplied by 1.02 which is two percent jump in the previous month quantity let it process and uh, once it has been done here let me just drag and drop it into the target value over here so now you can see let me just cross it and it's again we have overachieved and this is not matching with the title that we have so i'll go to the format and i'll be changing the title so for this i'll go to the title over here and uh, order quantity versus target i think target is fine right so we got it so I hope you understood how we can create a gauge chart for the comparison value. If you want to compare the actual versus target, this is kind of an important key indicator that we can have in our report. Thank you so much.